Fuck that. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, motherfucker. I'm going to fight your fucking ass. You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that, you know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real shit, right? We want Dallas! Dallas! We hate you! Dallas! <laughs> 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 What's going on YouTube? It's your man, man Boys for Life coming at you with another video. <sighs> I just I, I I don't get it. I don't understand this shit. I don't get why Eagle fans are constantly screaming that they want Dallas. It makes no sense. Look, <clears throat> you know this is the big fight. You know this is the game right here. Look, I'm not worried about shit. Why? Because we beat the Eagles the last, what, two years already? We haven't lost them since 2020? In Lincoln Financial Field, if I'm not mistaken, with uh, Andy Dalton? Really? That was the last time we lost to the Eagles. Period. We've owned them. Swept them last year. I don't get this infatuation with the Dallas Cowboys across any NFC East team. But you know what? It's more so the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know if it's that little man or that little brother complex. You know, because we're the big dogs. We're the big brother. We're the one with the most range. We're the one with the most playoff appearances. The most um, playoff wins. The most Super Bowl appearances. The most um, um, NFC titles. We're the gold standard. You, and, and these guys can come in here and laugh and clown all they want. But then they're going to sit there and all you, they're going to show you a CDs, uh, a, a DVD collection or, or a DVD, a single DVD of, of, um, their Super Bowl. Little orb floating around and shit, man. Ghost in my house and whatnot. But seriously, I don't get this infatuation with this we want Dallas crap. Makes no sense to me. You have fucking guys like on the road to victory with Jimmy who thinks he knows fucking everything about football, but yet probably has never played a down. I mean, these comments that he's talking, thinking that he's trying to get at me. Thinking that he's making me mad. When he's the one that you saw in my last video where he decided to Block or first of all, he DM'd me, called me a pussy, and then blocked me before I could even respond to him. I mean, there was like maybe a five to ten second delay or 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 when he sent the thing to me, clicking the notification and then looking at and reading it and realizing that I couldn't even respond. And this guy's gonna sit here and say all this shit about me, telling me that I don't understand football, that I'm out of my element. <coughs> When this guy has all he's doing, literally all he's fucking doing is reciting stats. That's all he's fucking doing is reciting stats. Which is a fucking kidner, kindergartner can do that shit. This guy can't talk football. All he's going to do is recite stats to you. And stats are for bitches, for losers, and for fantasy. So sit there, Jimmy, and record your, I mean, and recite your fucking stats all you want. Fine. Great. Go for it. But I guarantee you, you will not be able to go toe to toe with me actually talking football and shit and the eye test and what I see. Because a lot of those stats can be skewed tremendously. <coughs> and then you have guys like where are you hiding? Who's a, who's a, who's an undercover cowboy fan, right? As you can see in this picture, undercover cowboy fan wearing cowboys gear. Man, luckily no no other colors have donned my body. No uh, no no eagle fan, no eagle shirt, no no giants jersey, no no nothing. Redskins nothing. Nothing but cowboys blue. When it says cowboys. Nothing but cowboys gear. You have people like Eagle Speed, 
who comes out of nowhere and starts talking shit. This is the guy who, after the 2017 season, did, did, a, did another year of hate week. And he's going to sit there and say, oh, I did it sparingly. No, you fucking didn't. You did another whole year of hate week, saw that your team was shit, <coughs> and then decided to fucking bail and do casual hate weeks. Decided to do casual hate weeks. And then when they actually sucked, you fucking tucked your tail between your legs and you disappeared for the past two years. And now because your team's 5-0, and oh, that you're coming back acting like this big old bad Eagles fan? Rumors going around that you were a Bucks fan before you were an Eagles fan. Which doesn't surprise me. Because earlier, well... Actually, it was a Tom Brady fan, from my understanding. And it's cool if you were a Patriots ba fan back in the early 2000s when they were winning. And then you decided to jump on the Eagles bandwagon when they were doing what they were doing. And look, we're going <laughs> to... We can't compare apples to apples, right? Because you can't do that with the Cowboys and Eagles. Because it's comparing apples to oranges. Because guess what? Eagle fans are going to celebrate the division title. They're going to celebrate their playoff wins. They're going to celebrate everything after 2000. Like nothing before that is relevant. Again, Cowboys are the gold standard for everything that is the NFC East. Everything. The Eagles are dead last in everything. Everything. The sad part is, is you're right. The Cowboys have had a bad stand for the past 26 years. But what's even sadder is the fact that you haven't even caught up to us in division titles, playoff wins, playoff appearances, NFC uh, appearances, Super Bowl appearances, Super Bowl wins. You're over there talking about your one DVD. I'll take your one DVD to all the fucking five videos, YouTube, whatever, of the Dallas Cowboys Super Bowls. Like I said, I don't use that argument that much because, hey, let's, let, let's face facts. I was alive for three, but only remember one. But it is what it is, right? I can't help when I'm born, but I know what happened. Hell, if you don't, gotta, if you don't wanna believe me, Shit, go back and look to Philly Notion's uh, uh, live stream last year where I guessed every, or not guessed, but but answered every single question about that Super Bowl, um, uh, the Super Bowl questions that he had asked. Who had the interceptions for the Cowboys? Larry Brown. Who was the halftime show? Diana Ross. Who was the quarterback for the Steelers? O'Donnell and Cordell Stewart. I don't <laughs> And these fans that are coming up out of nowhere, look, this whole time you've just been seeing a merry-go-round of fucking dumb, stupid, idiotic Eagle fans that just say whatever the fuck they want, thinking that they're trolling me, talking all kinds of shit. Bro, I've been doing this a long, long time. No one's getting under my skin. As a matter of fact, the funny thing is, is you have guys like Jimmy, who's fucking pissed off, a little bitch, decides to block motherfuckers, and tries to spin it to make it seem like we're over here talking about him because we're all he thinks about, right? That's what he's trying to spin it. Ain't no one pay no attention to that bit of little bitch, pussy-ass motherfucker, who wants me to meet him in Lot E, the motherfucking skinny-ass bitch. Probably never seen a fucking football field. Where are you hiding? The little little undercover. He's ma undercover many things apparently. But I know he's an undercover cowboy fan with that fucking beanie that he wears. Eagle speed. Been gone for two years. Decides to come back when his team's winning. And he wants to call out other fucking people and their fanhood. When we've been here. Other people have been here and never left. He tried to do some political bullshit. Look, I'm a Trump guy just like he is, but I ain't trying to do no dumb shit like that. You have other dudes, look, that just constantly dance for me. Have me blocked. Not going to say names, but have me blocked, but yet want to post my hat. 
that I made and it pissed them off and they can't do a fucking thing about it? Imagine if I came out with a CD season ad, couldn't do a fucking thing about it. And I might just do it after this game. Man, these fucking bitch ass Eagle fans ain't nothing but a bottom tier, low ass, cow shit eating motherfuckers who don't know how to handle themselves. Get a little five game win streak in uh, going into uh, October. Acting like they're world beaters when let's face it, the teams they've played, the commanders, they want to rank them as one of the one of the. Oh, oh yeah, it was a it was a high powered offense when they were playing them. Let's be real here, the 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 the, the Lions who are one and four, what third overall in offense? You're gonna sit there and say shit like that? One and four, the Vikings four and one. That's one of the gotta be one of the most fraudulent uh, teams that there are. I, I forget who I, I looked it up who they played. And oh man, Jacksonville? They lost, they tied with the fucking Texans. The Texans. The Cardinals, a middle of the road offense? And you're gonna sit there and act like our defense just because we played the Bucks, who's 29th in offense, we played the Commanders, who's 19th in offense. A lot of these teams that we played are in the bottom tier of their offenses because of points score. Give me a break. Give me a break. Any real fan knows that the fucking uh, um, Cincinnati Bengals made the Super Bowl last year because they had a, comp a good enough quarterback and a good offense. I mean, a good defense. A very good defense. Eagle fans, give it a fucking rest already. Look, we know that you have a Dallas complex. We know that you want Dallas. The funny thing is, is that we can give two shits. The funny thing is, is that you won't see no motherfucking Dallas Cowboy fans screaming, we want Philly. None. No one. Because you are beneath us. It's fucking the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Giants, the fucking Washington Redskins. Not the fucking Commanders. You have the Seattle Seahawks. You have the Chicago Bears. You have the fucking uh, um, Patriots, the Packers. You have the European Football League. You have the CFL. You have college, and then, actually, you have college, the European Football League, the CFL, and then there's your franchise. Y'all ain't nothing more than a fake-ass wannabe championship 5-0 and punk-ass fucking team. That's exactly what you are. Sit there, scream, yell, say all this stuff you want. I don't give a fuck. Because come Sunday night, we're going to see who the real champ is. We're going to see who the content, uh, contenders are and who are the pretenders. I can't wait for Sunday night. The only reason why I can't wait is because I'm tired of hearing... These dumbass Eagle fans that constantly want to run their mouth. Look, it's my job. It's my fucking job to come on here and embarrass and maim and talk all kinds of shit about y'all. Because all y'all do is keep our fucking names in your fucking mouth. And it's fucking embarrassing. And if I were y'all, man, I'd fucking run. And hi.